I'm here at Ford Field in downtown Detroit, and today state championship weekend kicked off for high school football. We have four local teams that have worked all season to get to this point. Today, two of them were in action, and we start in Division 8, where the Beale City Aggies took on Riverview Gabriel Richard. First quarter, Aggies trail 8-0. They hand it off to Drew Block, and he spins his way into the end zone for the touchdown to tie things up at 8 apiece. Pioneers now with the ball. Nick Sobush on fourth down, fires it deep, but his pass is intercepted by guess who? Drew Block. Block getting the ball back for the Aggies. Peel City is going to give it back to the hot hands of Block. He takes the pitch and finds the end zone for the second time today to give Beal City the lead. Second quarter, Kyler Smith is going to throw this one towards the end zone, and Owen McKenney rises up to make the huge grab for the touchdown. And the Aggies would keep it rolling. Second half, they run a jet sweep to Austin Small. He uses his blockers, jukes some defenders, and he's going to take off for a 29-yard touchdown as Beal City takes down Gabriel Richard today, 43-0. To 14 to earn their first state championship in 15 years. We knew it was going to be hard. We knew who we were going to have to play, but I mean, defense stepped up tremendously. Offense looked great today. I mean, we've just been a family since the summer. That's the greatest part is to see these guys smile, see them succeed, to you know come together as a team. That's more important to me than than anything else, I guess. So. I mean, I don't know if there's any other way to describe it, but that, just to see the, the smile on their faces, that's, that's what I like. Congratulations to Beale City, and today's action was far from over. We move now to Division 4, where the Goodrich Martians look to claim their first ever state title as they took on the Nile Vikings. First quarter, Goodrich looks to strike first. Tanner Mazik rolls out to his left, fires into the end zone, and it's caught by Max Macklem for the touchdown. The Martians go up 7 to nothing. Mazik now running left, but then he throws right for a screen pass to Chase Burnett. He's got some help up front and just breaks free for the first down off that 34-yard gain. Goodrich now looks to close this drive out and Burnett is going to bulldoze his way in for six and add on to their lead. Nile with it now. Talon Bennett has to scramble to avoid pressure. He fires, but his pass is intercepted by Zayden Hall. Goodrich now starting to pull away. They hand the ball off to Jacoby Legat. He shakes his man and gets into the end zone for the touchdown as Goodrich takes down Niall 35-6. And for the first time in school history, the Martians have won a football state championship. We did! We did! Hey, no, we will. We did. You know, I never gave up on a dream. Um, and uh, these guys are the ones that made it come true. So uh, we tell the guys we want to get better every year. And I've had 32 of them get better. <laughs> so I don't know. It's been, it's been a great ride. We knew it wasn't a fairy tale story. We knew we earned it. We knew we had to make it happen. So uh, it felt good to do it for the guys two years ago. And, uh, it was awesome. We're a small town school. Uh, a lot of people didn't expect that out of us two years ago when we got here. And uh, I think our mindset and our motto is you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. And uh, that's exactly what we did. You know, we put in the hours, we put in the hard time that nobody else wanted to. And look where we are. Congratulations to Goodrich. And at the end of day one, we are two for two with local teams taking home state championships. The action will continue tomorrow with Millington and Frankenmuth looking to make it four for four. In Detroit, Austin Sumowitz, WNEM TV5 Sports.